Okay, well, without further ado, we're, uh, we're almost five past eleven. Let's get started. Welcome to the stream, guys. A little Zanky Zero, and a little of Despair, most likely. Starting a new game. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? So, as far as I'm aware, this game kind of controls like a first-person dungeon crawler. For the most part. Hello the creative director, Takayuki Sugawara. How you doing? Uh, let me know if you guys ha can hear everything, because uh, I'm not entirely sure on the sound balancing. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, I'm an artist. First team to stream live that I get to catch. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you for thank you for joining us, Evan. This is school exploration all over again. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and creepy, creepy girl noises. Oh wait, no, that just brought us back to where we were going. I Even I can't remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> you stop giggling at me, girl! Oh my god, where the hell do you think you're going? I don't appreciate this. Uh, what could go wrong? A, everything. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why hello, tutorial. Uh, the pointer can control the left stick. Yes, blah blah blah. I already, I already kind of know how to do this part. Um, so we do have a cursor, just like we did in the other Danganronpa games, which we can use to kind of like examine things as we see them. Maybe don't follow the creepy child voice, but then we wouldn't have a game, Clara. Uh, you dealing with a spoopy spirit? I feel like I'm always dealing with spoopy spirits in my games these days. <laughs> the difficulty can be changed later, so we can do some di difficulty stuff. Uh, level 1, enemies are almost non-existent. For those who want to focus purely on the story, there's no need to worry about stress, bladder, or ailments. Destinations are marked on the map, but this offers the least rewards. Uh, level 2. Enemies aren't too strong. Ideal for survival life noobs. Stress and bladder gauge increase slowly, and stamina doesn't decrease as much. Challenge higher the difficulties when you start getting used to it. Or 3. For those who want to enjoy a real adventure with a challenge, enemies are a bit stronger, but grant greater rewards. Manage your stress, stamina, and bladder for a true survival experience. So we can go level 1, level 2, or 3. Just 3. <laughs> because I hate myself. What game is this? This Sunday, is Zonky Zero. 8th, this is this is uh this is a new game from the brains of Danganronpa creators. At least I'm relatively sure. I could be wrong at that, but I'm pretty positive I am correct. So, if I am wrong, people will correct me. I was standing on the rooftop of Mashiro Garden Tower. The city nights were hot and humid during the start of summer. A damp wind blowing under the moon. Why, hello there. Colorful lights illuminate the city below me. Each of those represents a family with people living their own lives. And I had snuffed one of them out. Life has no reset button. I used to think these words held no meaning to me. Where did I go wrong? Everything is so beautiful, I want to cry. Ahoge! Yes, the Ahoge. The Ahoge is here. Bright lights make me want to look away instead. That's why I hoped. That's why I prayed. And there I stood, <laughs> just wishing for the world to end. Welp! This is how we're starting the game. He fucking she hoed himself. Yeah, with a splash too at the end. Splash? Wait, splash? What do you mean, splash? Why does this character remind me a bit of the Project Monkey 5? <laughs> Ma'am, 25 years old. This is you, now. <laughs> Great job, gamer. Admit into the game and you murdered someone. I know. This is just how it goes. Graduated from Keio University. Employed at a publishing house. Yes, you're in the I'm not. 
I'm just a hypocrite. Oh, that's right. We don't have much time. Let's begin then. Begin? What is there to begin? My life is already over. Just leave me alone. Illuminate a brighter future for humanity. Right. I recognize that sound. It's from that game. Is this Mr. Seesaw Homicide? Seesaw? Uh, oh! Gorky! <laughs> oh my god, I almost forgot about that. Where have I heard that? Where have I heard that sound before? God damn it, it's so bright! Do, 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 do. I hear another voice calling for me. You know, you're gonna dry up like a prune if you fall asleep out here. A girl this time? I'm so over this. Just let me sleep. I'm tired of everything. Oh. Right, because we have to speak the words of the things that we're actually doing. Uh, as long as, as long that black and white bear doesn't show up, I think we'll be fine in this new game world, hopefully. As far as I'm aware, there's no Monokuma. So, <laughs> hey, AJ. Oh, he moved. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John? Yeah, already you can see where this game is kind of going. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. Ding, dang, uh, ding, dang, dong? Oh, I thought it was ding, dong, ding. Uh, whatever. I'm getting up, just leave me alone. Hey, door of flight. Uh, good morning, hope you check out the rest of Science Adventure. Uh, Steins Gate, yes, uh, I, I will be doing that at some point in the future. Believe me, I will be. It's still really bright. Sunlight? What happened to me? Forget that, it's so hot. I have to get up and away from the excruciating heat, but quickly find myself at a loss for words. Huh? I've been sleeping on a white sandy beach. Before me is a vast blue sea, and soaring above is a clear blue sky. Buildings and islands jut out of the uh, jut out of the sea at bizarre angles and. Hello. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, Haruto Higurashi. <laughs> we meet at last, Haruto. There you are, between the sky and the sea. Is this place? Yeah, is this heaven, or is it hell? I was on the roof of the building last night, then... <laughs> nope, it's not heaven, you're on Garage Island! Yay, Garage Island girl! <laughs> Rogue. Garage? Sorry, I'm a bit confused. First of all, who the hell are you? <laughs> you wanna know my name? You really wanna know Sachika's name, do ya? She begins using her left pointer finger to write in the sand. I'm Sachika Hirasaka. Nice to meet ya. Yes, nice to meet you, Sachika. Hello, totally not anime girl, Isabel. <laughs> oh, because of the hair? Wow, I didn't even notice that. That's actually not... You're not wrong. It's the first time I'm meeting her, so I couldn't know her name. But why does it sound so familiar? Haruto! It's nice to finally talk to you, Haruto. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. The girl who introduced herself as Sachika Hirasaka grins widely. There's something almost, about, almost mystical about the stark contrast between her piteous body and innocent smile. Is this place... Sachika, where did you say this place was again? Yeah! It's Garage Island. Garage Island. Hmm. Garage Island. Never heard of it. So this is an island? Hmm. Hey, Draco. A suicide? Well, <laughs> well, it's from the makers of Danganronpa. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh-huh. We're surrounded by the sea, so we can't leave here. We can't leave? Sachika Hirasaka, the ultimate mayor's secretary. Sachika, will you take care of the town as I develop it? Looking around, I noticed all the buildings around us are dilapidated, rusty, or deteriorating in some way. It's like the entire town had been neglected for decades. Uh, so what exactly is this, uh, Cat Dreaming asks? This is Zonky Zero. Uh, as far as I can tell, um, it is kind of like a survival-ish type game. 
made by the makers of Danganronpa. Oh, my phone. I shove my hands into my pant pockets, but it's not there. My phone, wallet, card case, house keys, they're all gone. I look at the sand around where I'd woken up, but I can't even find a single coin. What? It's all gone. Did someone steal them? Check the watch on my, last, my left wrist. The time hasn't changed since last night, and the second hand is no longer moving. Damn it. How did I get here? You were already on the ground when I found you. <laughs> I poked you because I thought you were dead, but I'm glad you're still alive. So you, you go around poking dead bodies, girl. She makes a poking gesture with her left hand, then smiles again. So, where did you come from, Sachika? Do you live on this island? That's right. I came from the garage over that way. Everyone else is there, too. She uses her finger, or rather her entire right arm, to point in the direction behind me. Uh, what have you watched from the new anime season so far? I really like Dumbbell. I haven't really watched anything from the new anime season. Her right hand is prosthetic with two fingers, and her prosthetic left leg is thin and dubious looking. Oh. We're living to survive a life out here. Huh? Survival? What's that supposed to mean? Wait, if, if she's living on this island... How's that? Your parents must be around too, right? Can you take me to them? Mm -hmm. Sachika's parents aren't around. They never were. Sorry. Oh, I see. Sorry. I may have accidentally touched on an old wound of hers. That was careless of me. <laughs> <laughs> Sachika will remember that. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, we're doing survival stuff. Me, Ryo, Mamoru, Zen. Oh, and Miramo, Rinko, and Yuma too. You'll be joining us from now on too. I'll show you to our garage. Thanks. Thanks. Let's go then. By the way, do you happen to have any water? I'm parched. Yeah! Yeah, we got water. I actually brought some for you. I left it over there so it wouldn't get dirty. Let's pick it up on the way. Okay. Sure! The girl quickly zips by in front of me, then lightly hops onto the cracked asphalt. Despite her prosthetic leg, her movements are remarkably nimble. Let's go! Well, now off to the garage. Right. That thick ahoge stand up. <laughs> what have I walked in on, Serilyn? You, you have walked in on Zonky Zero. The blue sky and the blue sea, buildings submerged in the water, and streetlights that no longer turn on in this perfectly clear, apocalyptic world. My weekend has come to an end. My summer vacation is over. Okay, Roxas, just, just take a chill pill. Zonky Zero. Zonky Infinite Zero? Zon I. You don't actually say the infinite in the name, do you? I'm not sure. Uh, map and all this stuff. I will explain things as we go because I've got a kind of basic idea. So we have a map up there in the top right. Uh, it will fill in Whoa. as we walk around, which Ow. is quite nice. It's convenient. Um, we also have our status over here. But we'll probably, we'll get into that more later. Uh, I left the water over there. Ah, uh, right. We, uh, we can't exactly go in many directions here. So this is already going to be a game where I'm going to be filling in the map as I go. So there's like shades of PQ right now. At least this is kind of how I felt. Ah, uh, Hainer Pence. OLED. <laughs> Gamer, no, I thought the exact same thing. Oh, God. When I see that girl, I'm realizing it was too much uh, reading on Reddit cursed comments to not think about certain stuff. Oof. Picking up items. So various items such as food and materials can be found on the ground. Uh, to target an object with the pointer and press the corresponding button to take place or throw it. So we have a couple of options here. Uh, you'll lose items if you place too many things on the floor. Lost items will wash up back on the shore. And if you throw things in the water, they will be permanently lost. Because, fuck you. <laughs> because the game needs to be difficult somehow, right? Uh, I actually have no idea how hard hard mode it's going to be. So, I'm a little worried. <laughs> so, like, here we got water, uh, our stamina... We also have, that's that green bar on our status over there. So we can grab food, we can drag it over a person, and we can have them eat it. Uh, when their stamina reaches zero, their life will gradually decrease. So we need to be very careful. So here we go. Uh, let's just take this water right now. Uh, I will not eat it right away, because we have no reason to. Let's take this. Let's just throw it in our bag, which, uh, how do we, I, Y, that's right. So if we hit Y, uh, if you're playing on a controller like me, you just go straight into the bag. Uh, equipment slots and a couple of item slots, which we have one bottle of water. 
Clean, lukewarm water that quenches any thirst. Helps manage stress when drunk. So there is a, there is a survival element to this game, which has me very nervous because <laughs> I don't know I don't know how horrible the survival is going to be if like I'm gonna die a lot. I almost feel like I'm going What's to. What's this? A uh, blessing. A good time to begin a journey. Is this it? Why don't you come out for some reason? Okay. Omelette. Omelette du fromage. Ah! <laughs> so, dang it, Rapa Q. Um, kind of? So, we have a little pin Ooh. on our map. Uh, though I do I do like exploring a little bit, because... Uh, guys, if, if you have watched my Persona Q Let's Play, you know I'm like a fucking stickler for filling out maps. Ah. So, that is, uh, that is going to be a thing. Uh, Serilyn is resubbed. Thank you, Serilyn. Woo, nine months. Gotta say, it feels like longer. At any rate, it is always a pleasure spending time with you, gamer. Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure spending time with you, too, Serilyn. Hope you enjoy the despair. Uh, if there is despair to be had in this game, I'm assuming there is. Ow. Whoa. I'm assuming it's not really gonna Found be it. any different. Is this it? Uh, there are vegetables growing here. It's not gonna really be any different from, uh, Danganronpa. In, at least in that sense. Ow. Found it. Uh, it's this? a crossing boy. Okay, let, let's let's just go to the garage now at this point. Oh wait, whoa, what? If I double tap, I sprint. <gasps> oh, cool. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm learning something here. What a strange island. All the buildings seem to be in ruins, and there's no sign of life anywhere. Why is your character in pain every time you run into invisible walls? Because I like to think that we're so stupid, we just, like, we just, like, walk face first into walls. <laughs> because that's just how you do as anime pro tag. There's no clamor of the city, and all I hear is the ocean and a somber sound like a creaking ship. But the oddest thing of all is that the island I'm seeing for the first time somehow feels familiar. A survival game mixed with Ectri and Odyssey Persona Q. Maybe the people of Danganronpa? Welp, I'm expecting some type of fourth wall break and mind-numbingly insane plot twist. <laughs> okay. And we're here. <sighs> Whoa. Lost in my thoughts as we walked, I nearly bump into Sachiko when she suddenly stops. Looky, looky. And on your left-hand side, we have the famous garage of Garage Island. Is this place... This place is... Stand before me is an old garage. Just an old rusted garage. Nothing out of the ordinary in these ruins. Hmm. Flashbacks already. Huh? What was that? Oh, I just noticed her arm. <laughs> I, I know this place. Satches. I told you not to run off by yourself. Minamo just ripped me a new one. Rio. Hey, Rio, I'm back. I brought the last of our friends too. I look up to find a man standing next to Sachika. Seems to be about my age, maybe a little younger. The young man with the headband smiles as he notices me. Are you good? Hmm, Haruto Higarashi, right? Are you alright? You don't look too hot. No. Oh, yes, I'm... Wait, how do you know my name? Yeah. Come into the garage. It's too hot out here. You can chill in the shade. Let's go! Yeah, let's get inside. Sachika and the headband guy each take one of my arms. Hey! What? Wait, wait! And they forcefully lead me into the garage. Hey, hey gang. everyone! We got a newcomer here! Meet the gang, guys! Welcome! <laughs> oh, you're the serious type, aren't ya? I was wondering what you'd be like. Alright, why don't you start by telling us your name, age, and profession? Why are you gonna book me? Ah, oh, my, it's like you're taking him in for questioning. Let's welcome him with words of love. Four eyes, huh? Hope you taste better than you can see. Please don't eat me. We should be eating him. Um, Haruo Higarashi, was it? Welcome to Garage Island. And my condolences. Third on the left is thick as fuck. <laughs> um. So you all woke up and happened to find yourselves on the island too? Yeah. Yeah, way before you did. This is actually a certain someone's third day. You know, Sachika, the girl who found you on the beach? She was the first awake, so she's our island elder. I'm your senior. <laughs> uh, uh-huh, sure. Also. The one in pink looks kinda Kyrie-ish. Well, yeah, kinda. Look at the gang, they're all gonna die, aren't they? <laughs> Super Phoenix is already preparing himself. 
You ain't the only one who's had their stuff stolen. All our phones and stuff are gone, too. My, my. It was quite a shock waking up on some unknown island. An unknown and deserted island full of ruins, no less. Hmm. Deserted island? Yeah. Yeah, we're the only ones here. So now there are only eight of us, including you. Yes. He is not lying. A woman answers as if responding to my inner thoughts. Maybe my face shows my suspicions. The classy-looking woman's voice is soft, but there's an air of dignity and authority to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't just immediately take your word for it. Judging by the current situation, it's more likely you all kidnapped and brought me to this island. Look. Hey, come on now, that's crazy talk! Only eight more and we have a killing game! <laughs> You're probably right. I understand how you feel. I was the same way. But we're in the same boat as you. Before we knew it, we were on this island. Wait. Do you have any proof of that? What? Proof? Um... Uh... I should have known this would happen. He seems like the stubborn type. I have to admit, I'm a bit annoyed by the man's sardonic tone. Answer Then me, please. please explain this. How did you know my name? Besides, if what you say is true, might, we might have all been kidnapped. How can you all stay so calm? Now, now. Uh, Haruto, let's pump the brakes a bit, yeah? It's cause... Uh oh, suddenly the old TV in the garage turns on. Ding dong bing bong guys. The screen, which was blank just a moment ago, is now shouting at us with static noise. Finally, an MC with a brain. <laughs> what convenient timing. Well, I'd expected it to happen soon. Why don't you change the channel, Haruto? Huh? Yeah! If you turn the dial on the TV, the channel changes. It's mostly just static, but one of the channels plays a cartoon. Hey! What's the point of... See? You want a proof, right? That show might explain what you want to know. Hanging me on, huh? Fine, I'll bite. Very well. I just need to turn the dial? At this point, I still haven't realized that the TV's power cable isn't even plugged in to an outlet. <laughs> oh boy. Saving! So over here we can save. And there is autosave, but uh, we, can, we can do some stuff here too. Ah. Yes, don't mind me. Don't mind me as I just uh, fill in the map just a little bit more. Okay. Found it. <laughs> when will we get to the body has been discovered part? Uh, the old fashioned CRT continues displaying nothing but static. I have to admit, it's the first time I'm handling such an antique item. Slowly, I reach out my hand. <clears throat> Show us the bear already so we know who dies first. With a bit of force, the dial turns, making a loud snap. One channel hop seems to do the trick, the static noise disappears, replaced with... EXTEND TV! Hey, hey kids. kids! It's, it's time, time for EXTEND TV. TV! Get ready for a trip, y'all! Congratulations on clearing the mission, everyone! We left some food for you as a reward, so be sure to share with each other! Look, show! Our friends are all together at last! Yay! Yay! This is awesome, Mirai! <laughs> Our fight is just beginning! You're right, but you make it sound like we're getting cancelled already. Boy, I'm getting nervous. I don't know if I'd make a very good assistant. He's really digging in there. I think you're a bit too lax. Now okay. it's time for your next mission! Let's make a toilet! Okay, go! Hold on! You're going way too fast! Let's make a... Beautiful. That's, that's genius, show. I didn't mean the way you talk! We need to introduce ourselves first! What? Again? How many times are we going to do this? Hello, Astro Boy and Sheep in the City. <laughs> we haven't introduced ourselves to Haruto yet. We need to do these things properly. Hey, Super Gamer Up. The rest of you already know our names, right? I'm Mirai, the herbivore mascot and host of Extend TV. I am the, the, the uh, uh, assistant, Show Terashima. Why did you start getting nervous all of a sudden? What's worse, a clearly psycho bear or a suspicious looking plushie? I don't know. I mean, isn't isn't the bear also a suspicious looking plushie? Oh, this is bad, Mirai. I'm about to pee my pants. I'm quick on the trigger, so... Uh... Don't worry. 
I'm wearing undies. I forgot about this exchange. I think that just makes it worse. Ahem. Let's get back on track. The objective of Extend TV is to act as guides for all you last <laughs> remaining survivors of humanity. Close to Enoshima. What? <laughs> sure you all survive on this earth that's now been reduced to ruins the last survivors of humanity you see humanity is now extinct all except for you guys left on garage island what no way you're joking right please tell me you're joking yeah i've explained this to you a bunch of times show huh but how are we supposed to guide them we only exist within this tv show and live in a completely different world than they do Oh, so you're aware of that somehow. Um, we guide them by assigning them missions to clear. Uh, uh, even with our guidance, there's no way ordinary people can survive in the harsh world out there. Why do you seem so frustrated? Don't worry, they all have a special power. It's a gift from God himself. The X key on their belly buttons. X key? What's that? Is it like X-Factor? Stop with the references already! We'll explain more about the X-Keys later. For now, you'll need to build your base of operations. Uh, calling it now, show is genocidal. Ah, I see what you're doing there. Now's the time for you to announce their mission, show. Leave this to your trusty assistant. Here's the next mission. Become a pop idol! <laughs> what is uh... this, X-Factor? You said it right the first time. We're going to have you all build a basic toilet. Without a toilet, something terrible could happen. What is exactly like what that to I'm show. watching? Neat? Hey, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Flatter me all you want, but I don't have another drop left in me. Actually, I meant oh my that God. yours is a bad example. I don't want to hear any toilet etiquette from you, Mirai. You poop wherever you walk, don't you? Hey! I use the toilet, too. I even use the bidet afterward. Hmm. No wonder your butt is so clean. Yes. Let's talk about the sheep's ass. This is, this is, this is the quality gameplay I came for. Uh, don't look at my butt. Okay, that's enough. Time to say goodbye. Re Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. Bye-bye. Why are you looking, kid? Oh, God, sexual harassment. <laughs> the TV powers off with an aggressive bzzz. What's with that ridiculous old cartoon? What about this? That was quite the... Was that... That was the answer to your question, Haruto. We're surviving on this island while following the orders issued from that Extend TV show you just saw. No. Rather, we're forced to obey them, I should say. Um... That show is also how we know your name. You got it? You can imagine what our last mission may have been, right? It was find Haruto Higarashi, the last member of the group. That's right. Sajika just cleared that mission, so now we got a new one. These people can't be serious. Hmm. Yes, I did change my overlay. <laughs> anyway, do we really need a toilet? Why don't we just piss wherever like we've been doing? Why well, you? Listen, there are girls here too. We definitely need a toilet mission or not. Would also help prevent certain crimes before they happen. What? What? Are you talking about me? Right. I agree. Being seen is not a problem, but it would be unpleasant to see others doing their business. No. Th th those are definitely both problems. Hey. Uh, wait just a minute. You expect me to believe any of that? Humanity is extinct, and we need to survive on our own. I need a proper explanation here. See? Haruto, try touching your belly button. My belly button. Over my shirt, I feel something hard on my stomach. There's something there. Flustered, I quickly pull up my shirt. There I find... Wh what the hell? <laughs> That's a major belly button lit, my friend. I hadn't noticed the foreign presence there until this very moment. In place of my belly button is a small X-shaped object. Uh, how do I give you bits? Also, what am I watching? Is it safe to... Uh, back to... Uh, is it safe to watch... Watch... Wait... If it, is it safe to back to watching your Danganronpa 2 Let's Play? I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but this game has no connection to Danganronpa, at least as far as I'm aware. So it's it's fine to watch this. Um, in terms of bits, if you see the little bit icon in your chat, in your chat box, 
Um, just click that. You can either watch ads to get free bits or you buy bits from Amazon. And then you use them to cheer. Is this a core crystal? <laughs> I mean, it might as well be. Uh, Cabbage Boy, thank you for the follow. Since when is. I carefully touch it with the tip of my finger. It seems to be made of metal. It vibrates when I tap it, but I don't feel any pain. Pulling on it, the skin around it lifts up too. As I pull hard, Ow. I feel a sharp pain, like my stomach is being pinched. I quickly let go. The object seems to be welded to my stomach. They're completely merged together. Don't. I wouldn't try pulling it off if I were you. In my opinion, removal would require surgery. Huh? Surgery? Just what is this thing? Some sort of tracking device, I think. With that, the woman turns to face me, slightly lifting up her shirt. The others follow suit and reveal their stomachs. This isn't a gesture of submission, you know. Just want to avoid any suspicion. Thanks. I, I won't get any ideas in my head. Yeah. We all doubted it until we saw it for ourselves, too. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> While you're at it, feel free to gaze upon my chiseled abs. Yeah, uh, thanks, man. Hmm, I might have lost some weight. As you can see, we all got one of these. <laughs> oh no, look, we're all gonna die by a cute mascot character and a kid. Are you sure this has nothing to do with Danganronpa? It was made by the same, it was made by the makers of Danganronpa. Uh, it just isn't Danganronpa. Hmm? <laughs> Spit takes. Wanna see mine too? What? No, that's okay, Sachika. I don't want you to expose your underwear. Also. Besides, I already checked your stomach. Hers seemed a bit different for some reason. I can't believe they do that to a little girl like her. Hmm. Why would anyone put a tracking device on us? Yeah. Well, it's a monitor us, presumably. Have you heard of reality television? It's a TV genre that's popular overseas. Hmm. Oh, right. It's where a show's participants live under one roof or have to survive on a deserted island. Wait! Are you saying we're on one of those shows right now? Presumably. It's very likely. This humanity is extinct. It must be the some show setting. Huh? They kidnap and put tracking devices on us that force us to participate against our will? That's illegal. Nah. It's a crime, all right. Theft, assault, kidnapping, false imprisonment. I could go on. In that case... Then we should call the police. I am a cop, but there's no way to call for backup or to escape from here. I'm sure the people are on the move already with all these people missing, though. But... But... Um... We should assume whoever kidnapped us ain't afraid of law enforcement. Must have unfathomable amounts of money and power. Isn't that right, madam? Who knows? Money and power? Sounds like a villain from a novel I read a while back. Can such a thing truly happen in real life? This doesn't sound like in an age, or in an age where search engines could show you images of look any location in the world. Yeah. Team G, the joke is that's literally what Danganronpa and this is. I'm aware, TJ. <laughs> Maybe it was God who brought us to Garage Island. Remember what Mirai said? The X keys are a gift from God. I need more cards. I would have preferred a gift with more sugar in it. <laughs> that's right. She says <laughs> I need more carbs. We haven't had anything but water since yesterday. Mm -hmm. My muscles are going to need more love soon. Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't they mention on Extend TV that they're giving us food? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they told us to share with each other. Yeah. We must be on the island. Let's split up one group working on the toilet and the other finding food. Haruto, you just arrived, so you can rest on the sofa and wait. No. No, I'll do what I can to help. I'd like to have a look around the island, too. Huh? Oh, you're not suspicious of us anymore. Yeah. Well, I haven't really accepted all of this yet, but it seems unlikely as it's all an elaborate... Or, it, it seems unlikely it's all an elaborate lie. So, I'll revise my notions for now. It's not uncommon to find my initial theories and opinions misplaced after conducting an interview. Well... I like your flexibility. I can learn a thing or two from you. I usually get all tied up in my own thoughts. I guess there's uh, more for me to experience. Oh. I can tell you're the balding type. Look at these hey, I've got a full head locks. of hair. Just look at these luscious locks. <laughs> I meant in the future. <laughs> Don't say things like that. 
Okay, let's make the toilet and find some food. Sounds like a plan. At that, we all leave the garage. Even if these people are undercover crew members for the reality show, I have no choice but to play along. What I need most is information, and the time to analyze and think it over. So we say. Alright, 